there, this is Levon Casey here, back at it again with another video, and did you guys know that Crash Bandicoot was my first ever video game? And so today, I'm gonna be playing a little bit of Crash Bandicoot, because why the heck not? And no, this is not the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy or anything like that, this right here is the original PS1 Crash Bandicoot, and as you just saw, I just clicked start, and now I'm going to start into the first level, which is Insanity Beach. Loading, 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 alright, now everything is pretty much loaded, and as you can see, the graphics look very, very dated, but at the time, back in 1996, this was a big deal, a huge deal. Like, this was a huge leap from Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis games. Nothing more, nothing less. So, I played Crash Bandicoot on the um, Slim PS1. That is when I, um, that's the system that I played uh, Crash Bandicoot on, was the Slim PS1 at first, then I played it on the PS2, and now I am playing the game on the PS3 Slim, which is, uh, jailbroken. So, let's get the checkpoint. I mean, the gameplay is very simple. You jump, you spin, I mean... And you also spin to get boxes and get apples. I mean, the gameplay is very, very simple. So, this game basically right here was basically my Mario. Like, I didn't get to play, you know, Mario Bros. and stuff like that until I got the um, GameCube. And, oh, I just finished the first level. Yes, I did it. No deaths or anything like that. My first Mario game was um, Super Mario Sunshine. Like, that was my first Mario game. And I didn't even get to play that until I got in the GameCube. So, this right here, like I said, was pretty much my Mario. And when you really think about it, like, Crash has had a lot more better games than say Sonic the Hedgehog like if you were to be real like Crash has had a lot more success as far as you know good game releases go than Sonic the Hedgehog like I am just being real with you guys alright so this uh when you hit um Uka Uka three times from boxes you get like brief invisibility so, the Uka Uka that I have now is pretty much, you know, on it, in its second form. But once I get this Uka Uka, you know, then I go into, you know, brief invincibility. Which means that I can hit any enemy and it won't, you know, hurt me or anything like that. So, let me get all this stuff. Let me get all these boxes. And, ooh, and I got some extra lives. There we go. Woo! I thought I was going to get hit. I honestly thought I was going to get hit. So, the first Crash Bandicoot, you know, had you using the um, D-pad. <laughs> so, this was before um, Super Mario 64, by the way, if anyone's wondering. And the D-pad controls are okay. Like, they are okay. But that was the only thing that they pretty much had at that time. It wasn't until after Mario 64 to where Crash 2, I think, had supported the um, DualShock controller. Alright, let me go here. This is my save point. Like, it wasn't until then that they started supporting the uh, DualShock. Alright, let me just click here. Save game. Let me just save the game. Now let's go back to level Jungle Rollers. Man, this game is fun. I'm not going to lie. Like, it definitely does get harder. Like, here's one of the hard levels, which is um the Road to Nowhere. 
Like, that is a very, very hard level. Like, no lie, it is a very, very hard level. Alright, so I passed the second level. So here's what um Crash taught me about video games in, in um, real life. Sorry about the burp, guys. Is that um in video games that you get a couple lives and yeah and in real life you only get one life and once you you know die from a certain circumstance whether you get shot or get a heart attack or something you know that's pretty much it you pretty much go away forever whereas with video games you know you get continues and stuff like that you get passwords and all that other stuff so that was one thing that um this game has taught me about real life and video games is that um you only live once in real life but in video games you can have pretty much a lot of lives or heck even infinite lives once you know you know cheats and stuff like that all right so this is pretty much the third level all right let me jump on not jump but let me spin on this there we go so what was your guys' first video game? I would like to know in the comment section down below in this video. What was your guys' first video game? And tell me what was the experience pretty much was like. All right, let me spin on this. Let me jump on that. Let me jump on this. Oh, crap. Let me jump on this right here. Jump, jump, and get that checkpoint. All right, let's spin on this thing. Let me spin on that. Let me just wait, then jump. You know, honestly, I think this game is still fun to this day. Like, I honestly think that. Yeah, the graphics might not be as good for today's standards, but the gameplay is still pretty much there. There we go. All right, come on. Oh, all right, let's wait. There we go, let's go. Now let's go again. And I got into the bonus round. Now what these bonus rounds pretty much do is once you get um all the way to the end of the bonus round, it allows you to get more boxes and stuff like that, of course. But once you get to the end of the bonus round, pretty much, it pretty much allows you to save your game, pretty much. So, as you can see here, I am pretty much, you know, I pretty much got save point. Alright, so let's, uh, go. And now, um, uh, pretty much show password. And you can also pretty much save the game. So what I'm going to do here is pretty much save the game again. Let's override it. And that's what pretty much happens in bonus rounds. It pretty much allows you to save your game. Or heck, even give you a password. And now I am back to the main level. And now I'm pretty much finished with the level. Pretty much am finished. Oh, and it lets you know how many boxes you miss. I, I missed nine boxes on that level. So now I'm going to go back to the map and go to the next level. And I think this will pretty much be the last level that I play for this video. Duh, 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 duh. I, I like the music too. Like the music is pretty good. Duh, 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 duh. Don't this don't this remind you guys of Indiana Jones? Like this definitely does remind me of like Indiana Jones. Like it really does. Let's hope I can focus. Let's hope I can get past this level. Oh man, that boulder is getting close to me. Like, it is getting way close, way close. Ah, crap! Crap! 
It got me. Crap. <laughs> but hey, I got 17 lives. I got 17 lives left, so I got some time. I got some time. I'm gonna get past this level. Where it takes me 8 tries, 10 tries, I'm gonna get past this level. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go, yes, checkpoint, yes! I'm gonna just focus, I'm gonna just try to focus. Come on. I was hoping that I can get past this level. Let's hope I can get past this level. Oh, I got another life! Yes! I got another life. Almost there! And yes! I passed the level! I passed the boulders level! Yes! 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 And I may I missed seven boxes, but oh well, I at least passed the level. Yes. All right, so that's pretty much all the levels that I pretty much will be playing through for this video. And like I said again, like I'm gonna be saying again, that's what I meant to say. Um, Crash Bandicoot was pretty much my first video game, and yeah. So, what was your guys' first ever video game? And what lessons did you get taught as you were playing, you know, that first video game? It could be real life or anything. Let me know in the comment section below of this video. Hope you guys have a good day and peace! So now that you have made it to the end of the video, I want you guys to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, Hit that notification bell, and when you hit that notification bell, you gotta hit all notifications. So that way you can be notified for future live on case and tech videos, future live on case and gaming videos, future live on case and live streams, and also other videos that I do, such as, you know, reaction videos and, and things of that nature. Bye.